Hey guys, it's Harleywood. If you don't follow me on Instagram, a couple days ago I posted a picture of a doe, a white-tailed doe that I had harvested. And um, I harvested it with my Marlin 1895 SBL. I'm gonna show you the ammo that I used in just a second. It's devastating, incredibly devastating ammo. And some people asked me to kind of go over my, my setup here on the rifle. So that's what we're gonna do today. I initially posted a video about this rifle in, I don't know, I want to say early summer, and I got a channel strike for it. The only thing I can think of, all the video was, was a little bit of footage of me and a buddy shooting it, and then me talking about how happy I was to have finally found one, because they were hard to find for quite a while. The only reason I can think of that YouTube banned it, because they never really tell you why, was I mentioned the name of a website in the video where there was a lot of price gouging going on. And uh, you're not supposed to name or post or have any links to where you can buy any weapons or s all this other crap. But watch, I'm going to get a channel strike for saying that their rules are crap. But uh, anyway, I edited that video, put it back up. I'll post a link in the description below if you want to see it. Took out the reference to that website. Anyway, let's get this on the tabletop and go over some of the stuff that I have done to it. All right, so first, let's take a look at the ammo that I used. I don't remember what this is called but it's a brass hollow point bullet from Black Butterfly Ammunition. I will not post a link in the description below, but with a simple search, you can find that. Because I don't want to get another channel strike. Let's talk about the rifle. At the time I harvested the doe, I just had the iron sights on there. Now I shot the doe at 60 yards with iron sights, which normally I can keep about a two and a half to three inch group. These ghost ring sights are incredibly accurate at 50 to 100 yards. And usually at 50 yards, I can keep about a two, two and a half, maybe three inch group. With your adrenaline pumping and that doe walked out there, I shot her at 60 yards and I was a couple inches off of where I was aiming. So I went ahead and threw this on there and I'm gonna give it a try. On the front here, you'll see the rail from Midwest Industries. I like it, it feels great in the hand. It's incredibly easy to install. Um, I've heard some of the Henry, the, the Henry equivalent of this is a pain in the butt to install just because of the configuration of the Henry. The sling on here is from Grove Tech. It's a very low profile with a nice rubberized part on the inside here. I will post a link in the description below where to get that. The shell holder here is also from Grove Tech. So you can see I've got some extra shells in there. Extra rounds. Watch, somebody's going to say shotgun shoot shells. And that's pretty much it. Other than that, this is a completely stock Marlin 1895 SBL. Incredible weapon. These rounds blew about a three and a half inch hole in the neck of that doe. I was trying to shoot her right behind the ear. It was about uh, two, two and a half inches back from that. So I got a little bit of neck meat on her, but man, this round <laughs> was devastating. All right, so real quick video. That is my custom Marlin 1895 SBL. This for me is probably a gun that I would only use within about 100 yards. There are gonna be guys who can shoot this out much, much further, but that is such a heavy bullet, the drop out past you know, 150, 200 yards, uh, it just kind of starts to not make as much sense when there are high power rifle calibers that will get out much further than that. Anyway, that is it guys, the Marlin 1895 SBL. Thank you for watching guys. If you like this video, please hit that subscribe button below. Got lots more videos to come and we'll see you on the next one.